so guys on this video i'm going to show you how you can make 20 to 200 dollars online by promoting affiliate program i know you'll be wondering on your head what is affiliate program affiliate program is you promoting other companies products and you will get compensated in return by doing that that is how this concept of affiliate program works and i know you'll be wondering how can i do this you need to watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you will know how to do this at the end of the day so the first thing you need to do before you join affiliate program you need to think on your head do i really need to start this business you know you need to be ready because affiliate program is not like what people are saying online like click this link pull this link click and paste this that that and you make boom millions of dollars all those are lies affiliate program it takes a lot of times it takes a lot of um, energy from you and you need to um apply strategies um, that people are not using to make money from this um, method and you need to be organic you convince people letting them know about this particular product or reviewing a particular product that they don't have any idea of how the product look or what the product can do and in return if they like it or they they like what you have explained about this particular program they buy it you as the one that is promoting the product you are going to make money so you need to be very very smart when it comes to promoting affiliate program i know you'll be wondering but how can i get started what is the first thing i need to do the first thing you need to do is to create a website many people will tell you go and focus on this niche focus on that niche i will say no don't focus on any niche use your name to create a website because you need to create a brand around that your name because let us say for example you you focus in any niche maybe that company that you are trying to you use as a niche is not existing again that that your website is going to die you are not going to be making money again at the end of the day so that is why i say you should use your name as the website that you want to create just like me and once you use your name now you are the brand every time you can be able to create write articles about any website any company on that your website because but when you focus on niches like what they are saying online here let us say people that is interested in health and fitness are only uh the people that you are talking about those are the type of people audience that will be on that your website but when you use your name you are talking about finance you are talking about uh, uh like health and fitness you are talking about food you can talk about anything at all it's like a general uh a topic so that is why i say you should use your name so once you have your name you have created that your website um then you are good to go but if you are not able to create a website because you don't have money then you can watch this my video that will pop up right now a way on how you can create your free website with bloggersports.com go and create your website and let us assume now that you have created your website the next thing you have to do is to start um blogging writing articles reviewing companies and um, be publishing them on that your uh, website which will now become an article so i know you'll be wondering on your head what are the i don't have any idea of how i can write articles about website about this about that now chat gpt is there which is ai to help us if we are, are finding it difficult to complete an article we are finding it difficult to write an article it will help us through so that is what i'm going to show you in the next two seconds but before we go into how you can write your blog the first thing you need to do is to pick um the products that you want to start promoting i will show you like three affiliate program that you can join now and um, pick one of them and start um promoting each one of them and you can decide which one you want to use at the end of me showing you now so let me show you affiliate program that you can go and start using or you can look for the one that you want to use so let me show you so this is impact impact is an affiliate platform that uh, that allows people like me and you to come and promote product and services so once you um open this page in part or you can use the link in the description to uh, join them and once you open it this is how it look all you just need to do is to register and once you are done registering your account you are going to find yourself on this page so once you land on this page you are going to find variety of products that you can see here so all you just need to do is to look through any one of them and see if they are really what you want to um promote start promoting you can see upwork you can see a lot of other companies that you can promote here but what i want to say is that 
um, sometimes your company might disapprove you because of your profile all you just need to do is to keep on applying to other program that you want to promote let us say i want to apply to this program which is called badcreditloan.com if i click on it it's going to pop something up telling us to give a brief description about how we want to promote this their company all we just need to do is to type in everything that we want to say here we can just say hi and start typing our experience or how we want to um promote uh, them and why we pick to promote them you know give them information let them know about your audience or let them know why you want to promote them so once you are done with that click on apply here and it will start showing pending once they approve you they are going to send you an email from that email you can now start um uh, promoting this website which is now called um badcreditloans.com so that is how it will the concept is very simple let me show you the second affiliate program that you can start promoting so this is the second affiliate program that you can start promoting which is called grammarly everybody is using grammarly because when we write an article sometimes we find it difficult to get everything right so grammarly will help us to uh, correct any grammar error any like if you if you spell if your spelling is not right grammarly will help you to do all this sort of thing that is what grammarly is doing and they have affiliate program that you can join and make money out of so once you join the program let us see anyone that uh join grammarly or they sign up on grammarly for free without even paying money you are going to make 20 cents for each person you send as long as they register on grammarly um, you are going to make 20 cents if they pick any plan like the pro plan uh, the, which is the premium plan uh, and they make a purchase of any plan you are going to make 20 dollars imagine you bring in like 20 people to this program you are going to be in the chance of making up to 400 dollars to 200 dollars so that is how this concept of promoting grammarly work is very very simple the one thing you have to do is just to click on part where it said become an affiliate and you can go and fill up your information and they are going to approve you within one week they're going to uh, give you affiliate link and you can go and start promoting them so let me take you to the third affiliate program that you can join if you want to start if you want to pick from uh, these three affiliate program that I'm, I'm going to show so the third one is amazon associate so if you don't know amazon associate which that means you have not start making money online you know so this is kind of a a new way of making money with affiliate program so you join amazon associate and start promoting amazon product and if anyone buy any product that you are promoting from amazon you are going to make money let us say for example i want to promote this program which is um this sony camera so all i need to do here is to pick the link of this sony camera and go and start sharing it to my audience anyone that click on it i that is me myself that is promoting this program i'm going to make money all i need to do to get my affiliate link click on this part where it said test once you click on test here this is now your affiliate link anyone that click on this your affiliate link copy it once you copy it go and share it with your audience anyone that click on it you are going to make money so we are going to use uh, this uh, sony camera which is this sony alpha as an example on this tutorial so what we are going to do we are going to go and write a blog about this sony alpha so let us go and write a blog post about this web uh, about this um program but one thing i want to talk about before you write a blog about any program or any affiliate program that you want to promote the first thing you need to do once you find a program that you want to start promoting the next thing you have to do is to go and do a keyword research so guys we are going to use this uba suggestion tool that can help us to uh, find a profitable keyword that we want to rank for so what you just have to do if you are on uba suggestion is to click on the part where it said um keyword research and you will see at the bottom you see overview ideas keywords and uh, you will see keyword by traffic so if you want to check for website but we are going to click the part where it said keyword idea we want to see idea of keyword that we want to uh, rank for or want to write articles about so what i need to do is to just click on here it said keyword idea so once you click on keyword idea here you are you are going to type in something you know that i said we are going to use this sony alpha camera as an example for this video 
So what we can type is to say best, um, we can say like best Sony, um, best Sony camera in 2023, uh, best Sony camera in 2023. So all I will just put is that. And once I set this up, which is best Sony camera in 2023, here you are going to select the language you want to search on. Uh, here you can select the location all you just need to do is to click on it and you find um, all location if you want to uh, target all location but for me i recommend that you should target a country where you know you know ta target a country that is good you know don't just target any random country just look for a particular country you know that you can make money out of to target because you know that in this country they have a lot of people searching for this kind of product this kind of tool or this kind of um, services i will just click on united states so i'm going to use that as an example and i will click on this part where it said search so once i click on search is you have start searching and all you just need to do is to be patient and it's going to give you all the information you need here as you can see um this keyword we search for which is best sony camera in 2023 it have 10 search volume and the cpc which is cost per click with this cost per click this is how much advertiser are willing to pay people like me and you if we are targeting this keyword and we have a blog that is ranking on this keyword which is best sony camera in 2023 any ad that is going to show on this our webs on this our blogging website on this particular page which is best sony camera we are going to um make that money that you are going to be seeing here which is uh cpc session but as you can see on the cpc session is completely zero so the search volume the cost per click keyword difficulty which is this one here which is seo difficulty uh, which is SD, SD, which is what you are seeing here, SD. So you are going to focus on the SD, CPC, and the volume, search volume, cost per click, and the SEO difficulty. You can see the SEO difficulty of this keyword is 36. Normally, I recommend that you should focus on the keyword that is from 0 to 35, maximum 0 to 35. If you know your website is new and you don't have a high domain authority so that is how you can do your keyword research let us say i like this keyword all i need to do is to click on it and it's going to open up i will see more information about this particular keyword i'm trying to rank for so that is how you can do your keyword research and um, if you can see there is other uh, keyword that you can uh, look out and see all those are keyword that you can still look into and see if you want to drop that your first keyword and um, use other keyword that is below here which is what i told you focus on the keyword that have at least a high search volume you have to have seo uh, difficulties of 0 to 35 you need to have seo difficulty from 0 to 35 so why did i say this because your website is new you don't want to go and fight with people that have that have a high domain authority focus on all this type of new keyword that is fresh so that your website will start picking up and your article will rank so that you can make money at the end of the day so that is what i want to talk about concerning this keyword research so now that we have picked a keyword we want to rank for which is now this one you know remember i'm using it for example honestly this is not a good keyword to rank for but i'm using it for example so that you can think about how you can do this that is why i'm showing all these whole things so I have picked this keyword which is best sony camera in 2022 remember use a keyword that have a high search volume you can see this best sony camera in 2023 have 10 search volume every single month from united states which for me is bad so that is it and two focus on a keyword that have a cpc which is cost per click um, so that you can make money from that your website blog so let us move to the next step on how we can write a blog post on this particular keyword so i want you to pay attention on this part you know i told you that you are going to use chat gpt but if i say you should use chat gpt a lot of you might not know how to use chat gpt so 
word hero will be a good option for you you can click the link in the description if you want to use word hero because i think it's a perfect option for beginner like you who don't know how to uh, use ai so um the first thing you have to do you can see this part where it says generate entire outline for your blog article using word hero so i will click on it and once i click on it it's going to pop this up asking us to type in the topic what we want to talk about so we are just going to let this ai to know what we want to write about so i'm going to um just paste an article about that sony alpha that we said we want to write about and all i need to do is to do write for me and what is going to do is going to write out outline for us so once you write out this outline i'm going to show you what you have to do now, as you can see this is the um, outline that he have written for us so we are going to click on this part where he said we should copy it so once you have copied it, close this tab. I'm just showing you how you can do this. And you need to go to the editors tab on Word Hero. So what you have to do is to click on this part where it said editor. So you click on the editor tab. So once the editor tab open, the next thing you have to do is to set up a title for this, your blog. What you can do here is to, is to write a title concerning what you want to write about. I can say, for example, best sony camera in 20 sorry in 2023 for i would just say for for beginners so um once i put that as the title tell the ai what i want to write it this will be the h1 which is the title when you are writing a blog then the next thing you have to do is to paste in the um outline that you have copied that the ai have generated for you paste it inside here and what you have to do as you can see um you have pasted all the whole outline that it have generated for you what you have to do is to turn all this outline into a heading one heading two heading three so we are going to start from because when is the body of the website it's going to be from heading one to heading four so some of some people might do from heading two to heading five but i do from um one to uh, three maximum i think three maximum is when i have a lot of um outlines that i can add more so all i need to do is to click on the part where you say heading heading two so this will be my heading to bring it down and the key features of this camera i will do that as heading theory and i will do this one which is the very angle screen 4k video real time i autofocus i will do that as uh, i'll just leave it just like it is so you can just um change each one of the head uh, outline into um headline so that this ai will understand what you are trying to write about so once you have done that to start writing because you don't have any idea of what you want to write about this sony camera you just need to put in your mouse there and click it twice and you have to click on this icon here you can see this icon like a fire race icon click on that and what you are going to see is going to shock you once you click on it you can see the thing is loading up when it's loading up like this is searching on google what in is speaking some things on google and as you can see it has start generating this blog post for us and as you can see have generated all these whole blog posts in just a seconds so that is how you can do the same thing for the rest of them just scroll down here and you click on where it said key features uh yes key features and you click on this same icon here and once you click on it it's going to start writing about that particular key features you are talking about on this particular camera that we are trying to write a blog about so as you can see you have just did that same thing again it just write out this uh, uh, blog for us so what i want you to do is to read out um read everything that this um ai is doing for you 
and uh, remove some things that you know that is not uh, right, is wrong spelling and all these other things. Just correct everything and make everything look different and you look like it's human that read it write the article but not a robot so that is what i want you to do so you can keep on writing the rest of them but i'm just showing you how you can do this so let us say you have written everything all you just have to do is to copy each one of these uh, blog that you have written for you what you need to do is to go and rewrite this blog why did i say you should rewrite this blog i want you to bypass the ai detector because if google detect this your article it will not rank on Google. That is why I say you should go and rewrite the article that this AI have generated for you so that you can bypass the Google AI um, issue or Google AI problem. So um, what you have to do is to go to this website, which is uh, Yusuf SEO tools. This is one of my SEO tools website. Come here and uh, paste in your uh, article where it said you should rewrite article so article rewriter you know click on the where it said article rewriter i need to open up this page paste in that um, article that you have writ written with ai and click on that you are not a robot just scroll down a bit here and click on the part where it says submit so once you have done this um, is going to open this up again and what you have to do is to copy everything that you have written for you. This is a lot of work guys. This is a lot a lot of work I know some of you will say oh, I can do it in another website, but it's okay But if you want you can use this uh, SEO tools. I think it's a good uh, tool to um, uh, Use to if you want once you have done that go to Grammarly and paste in all the whole article that you have written uh on with that ai so once we paste in all the whole articles here what you have to do is to uh, look where you have made some error spelling you no know, when you write with ai there's a lot of error even when you write yourself personally there's a lot of error that is going on so you need to fix that so um what you have to do is to go through each one of them and fix the wrong spelling and once you are done with everything then you can go and check Go and check this article on this website which is called originality.ai so you can see this is originality.ai if you want to use this website which is originality.ai the website link will still be in the description below this depends on you you can go and use it to dictate your article if is ai written content or is original content so what you have to do is to click on where it said um content scanning and you click on where it said start a new scan and it's going to open up this page. What you have to do is to come down here, paste in that your um, article here or that your blog. So once you have pasted in that your blog, enter a title for this your blog. You can say uh, Sony uh, Camera. Sorry, you can put like Sony Camera here. And you click on the part where it said you should scan it. Make sure you enter um, Detector AI and put uh, Checker Plagiarism and Readability. So click this part where it said scan now. So once you click on scan now, it have start scanning this and we are going just going to wait for this to get done. So guys, you can see what I was telling you concerning when you are using AI to write article. You can see the original content is zero, which means this AI tool is dictating that this our blog that we have written is 100% AI. There is nothing like this web, this our blog is going to rank on Google. So this our blog that we are written with this AI will not rank. So with the help of this originality.ai, that is how we find out this. If not, we'll just post this blog and be expecting that it will rank. So what I recommend that you should do, you can use Grammarly and use other AI to, to rewrite the blog and change some things yourself with your hand. You know, type in things by yourself, make it look different, just like what the AI have done for you. So there is nothing like human content. So what I'm going to do, I will rewrite it in just a second and bring it back to you. Human original content is standing up now, it's 13, but the AI is still, seven, is still 87, which is very, very high. If the human content is 87, and AI is 13, then you can go and publish it. But in this situation, you need to go back, rewrite that blog that the AI have written for you and come back to this AI tool, which is originality.ai and check that blog if it's still original content written by human or 
the AI percentage is more. So you have to make sure you check this because I don't want you to publish your blog out there. You are going to be expecting that because you use ChatGPT and or because you use any other AI tool to write a blog, then the blog is going to rank. It's not going to rank. So I want you to know this. It's not going, it will just be there on Google, but it's not going anywhere. Google is going to penalize that article and that article will not get anywhere. So I don't want you to waste your time in this business. That is why I'm being honest and telling you everything that you are doing that can hurt your business. So that is all the consent of you uh, making this amount of money by promoting affiliate program. Guys, I hope you are enjoying this video. So I don't want to waste your time again. So I would just say thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Only what I will ask from you right now, if you enjoy this video, just hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, let me know what you think, and I will say see you on my next upcoming video.